My name is uh, Mats Lindrus. I'm uh, head of the Accelerator Sub project. And uh, we are standing now up in the RF gallery uh, where all the equipment which will generate the power that actually will drive the beam towards the target where we generate the neutrons at VSS. And we are standing at the very beginning of um, this hall. It's about uh, 550 meters long, the hall itself. And um, we are now at the normal conducting end. And we're just commissioning now the first RF sources down here. Uh, RF is a large part of the complexity and cost of the accelerator, generating then the RF waves that we need to actually get the protons moving. What is down in the tunnel is what accelerates the beam that we uh, shoot on the target. So uh, uh, complexity here is enormous and you have the combination of not only these RF sources, you see red uh, tubes behind me, the power supplies that drive these tubes called modulators and all the controls, the cooling system and uh, also the networks that needed to synchronize and make sure all of these works together. So in the normal conducting side, we're already in the commissioning stage, getting things to work, sending RF power down to the tunnel safely. We are now standing down in the tunnel. Uh, it's the very beginning of the accelerator. Just in front of me over here is the ion source where the first protons start to travel all the way down to the target. Uh, the tunnel all needs to be filled with equipment and you can see that we have quite a lot of things here already. We are still waiting for the detail. It's part of the normal conducting LENAC and then the choir modules which is part of the superconducting LENAC. But distribution systems, power, cooling water, and electricity and controls are already in place here. And here you can see the RFQ itself. So in April, we will start putting power down here into this equipment and eventually see the acceleration of the fourth protons here at ESS through the RFQ. Uh, then it will follow in stages. Uh, next part is the medic. After that, we will have the DTL tanks that's a normal conducting LENAC and then the superconducting LENAC. So this whole system has to be operational and in place. But as you see, uh, the infrastructure around it is actually more complex and uh, larger than you can imagine and thinking about all these pieces that have to come afterwards. So we're sort of moving in the high-tech end, uh, but everything else has to work to make this work together.